Hi, I'm John Liebman. Welcome to Beyond the Interview on JohnLiebman.com. This week's interview is with my old friend Tim Landers. Now, Tim has played with so many people over the years, everyone from Billy Cobham to Lee Rittenauer, Al DiMiola, Mike Stern, Gil Evans, Michael Brecker, and so many others, plus all kinds of TV. I mean, he's done an awful lot of stuff. I've interviewed over 500 bass players so far on ForBassPlayersOnly.com. And one thing I hear from a lot of bass players, I generally ask one question, what about the future? What else would you like to do? What else is coming up? And what I'm hearing more and more, it seems, is people telling me, you know what, John? I've played for so many other people for a long time. I'd really like to release a solo record as a leader with my own material. Now, last couple times I spoke to Tim Landers, he mentioned that very thing. And it got me to thinking about just how far the bass has come over the years since those early days when it was strictly a background instrument whose only job was to support the band. Now that is still our job, don't get me wrong there. That's very important about what we do. The point is, it doesn't have to be our only job. I mean, take a look at some of the side men and side women over the years who have stepped up to the front and assumed a leadership role in the band. Stanley Clark, Ron Carter, Jocko, of course, John Patitucci, Mark Egan, Nathan East, Marcus Miller, Rhonda Smith. Rex Brown released a record. Will Lee put out some solo stuff. Chuck Rainey, Brian Bromberg, Stu Hamm, Eden Nielsen, and so many others. The bass no longer has to function solely as a background instrument. Thanks to these people and a lot of others, the bass player can now truly function as leader of the band. Tim Landers, we can't wait to hear your first solo release when you get it done and you get it out. And I know you will and I hope it'll be soon. Check out my interview with Tim on ForBassPlayersOnly.com. If you're watching this video on JohnLeapman.com, there's a link right underneath that'll take you right over there. And on that page, there is a link to my previous interview with Tim, which is also very good. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Sign up for our email lists for BassPlayersOnly.com, JohnLeapman.com. Thanks for watching. I'm John Liebman. This is Beyond the Interview. Mm -hmm.